What's up YouTube? Welcome to Quad Affection. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to deploy an Angular application into IIS. Before getting into this topic, I would like to thank for your PayPal donations for my previous works. In order to make more helpful and quality tutorials like this, you can support me through PayPal donation. I have given the donation link in post, comment and video description. So without further ado, let's get started. In order to demonstrate the procedures involved in deploying an Angular application to IIS, I have a system in my network which is here which I have remotely connected, which is a fresh system. Nothing is installed except Windows 10. So I will show how to deploy an Angular application inside this Windows 10 IIS so that you won't miss any steps. Now let me minimize this remote desktop connection. Back to my system here, here I have an Angular application which we have discussed in previous tutorial. The main agenda behind building this application is to understand how to upload and retrieve images into Firebase cloud storage. So I have given a video link in which we have discussed how to build this Angular image gallery from scratch using Firebase. You can see the video link in iCode or you can see in video description or you can see in force comment. Now let's come to this video. Here we have the corresponding project angular project for this image gallery. Before building this angular application for production we have to make sure a few points. Every methods that we have used in this development stage may not work in production. For example in order to reference an image inside this IMG control we have given the image reference like this. In order to work this in production, we have to remove this forward slash which will work in both production and development stages. So we have to remove this forward slash while referencing image files or files. Okay. Same thing we have to do in this IMG or image component here. So we have to remove this forward slash from here. You don't have to understand the details of this project. Just make sure that everything that we have implemented in development stage will work in production development also. So that is what we have done here. We have removed forward slash from file references. Along with that, in order to configure this application with Firebase configurations, we have used this file here, environment.ts. Inside this constant environment, we have saved the Firebase configuration inside this property here. While in case of production development, we don't use this TypeScript file environment.ts. Instead of that, in case of production, we will use this file here environment.prod.ts. So we have to copy the configurations or properties that we have saved inside this file into this file here. So let me copy and paste that here. So every properties that we have here inside this environment.ts file should be present inside this version also. Now I hope everything works in development stage should work in production also. So let's build this application. For that let me open one more terminal here. In order to build this application, currently we are inside the project folder directory. So you can run this command ng build. Now we have to build this project for production. So we have to use this flag prod. After that we can name this application using this flag here base hyphen href. And it will be something like this forward slash image gallery forward slash. So when we deploy this application in our IIS, we should use the same name image gallery as we have given here. So after deploying this application in IIS, we have to use this prefix image gallery. Means after deploying this application, we have to use this prefix forward slash image gallery. Okay, so let's execute this command here. So finally as a result of this command execution inside this project folder you can see a new folder dist here. Let me see that in our project folder. So here is the folder dist as a result of the build, production build. 
Inside that we have another folder with project name image gallery with angular and firebase. So here we have the files which is to be deployed in our IIS. So here we have built angular application for production. Now let's configure this new system in our remote desktop for IIS deployment. So first of all we have to open IIS. For that you have to use this run command inet mgr. Click on OK. Currently Windows can't find this inet mgr command. So first of all we have to enable IIS inside this application which means Internet Information Service. So let me close this window. In order to enable IIS inside this application, first of all, we have to open programs and features. For that, we can use this run command here, appviz.cpl. Hit enter. You only want to enable IIS if you can't access IIS using inetmgr command. So in order to enable this, first of all, you can open this programs and features using appviz.cpl command then click on this turn windows features on or off then search for internet information service here which is the full form of iis now click on ok so here we have successfully enabled iis now let's open iis let me close this programs and features window now let's try the same command again inetmgr inet mgr so here we have the iis manager now let's move to the next step we have to create a new application inside iis for that you can expand these connections here inside that we have sites inside this default website you can create a new application for that you can right click on it then click on add application then name your application as we have provided inside the command here image gallery so image gallery now we have to copy the files which we have generated as a result of production build so let me copy all of these files from here then back to the remote connection here and we have to copy that inside the c drive so here we have the c drive inside that i'm gonna create a new folder image gallery inside that i will paste all of those files now back to iis now we have to mention the physical path here so inside c we have image gallery we have selected the folder now click on ok so that's it now click on ok so here we have successfully deployed our angular application now let's look how it looks like in production environment for that you can click on this browse button here so that it will open this application in our browser currently we only have this default web browser edge and here we have the angular application we have loaded this application from local host by default it will be from the port number 8080 and followed by the application name image gallery and here we have the route that we have configured inside the angular application now we have a problem if you reload this application here we will get an error of the type 404 it means we have to configure iis further you can see the same error even if you copy this url from here and then try to load that in another tab here this is because iis do not allow deep linking by default so we have to configure this iis or this application for deep linking so that we can access the application after reloading or after manually typing the url in web browser so in order to fix this problem we have to install an iis extension url rewrite so first of all let's search for that iis url rewrite so here is the corresponding link i have given this link in our video description now click on this install this extension button we have successfully downloaded the file now let's run that if you are trying to install an iis extension for the first time first of all it will install microsoft web platform installer 
So currently we are installing web platform installer which is required to install any extension into IIS. Now we can install URL rewrite. So click on install then accept this license and terms. So here we have successfully installed the extension. Now click on finish. Exit from the web platform installer. Now inside this IIS you should see the extension URL rewrite only if you restart this IIS manager. So let me close this. Now let's launch this IIS manager again from command inetmgr. So here you can see the extension URL rewrite. Okay. Now in order to fix this problem we have to do one more thing. We have to add web config into this image gallery deployment folder. So let's create a web config file for that. Right click here then new text document then I will name it as web.config even though you can see that it is considered as a text document in, instead of configuration file. So in order to fix this go to view then uh, check this uh, option here file name extensions. We have to change this extension into config. Let's confirm the operation inside this file. Inside this file we have to give an XML document. For now I will paste the XML code here. So here you can see the URL rewrite into this prefix forward slash image gallery. So this is what we want to do. I will give this web config XML in my video description. You can copy from the. Now let me save this. Let me close this. Then back to this tab here. Let me reload. So inside this image gallery here we have the form to upload an image and here we have the images that we have uploaded so far. Currently we have 9 images. Recently we have uploaded this cat image. Now let's check if it works after deployment. In order to upload a new image you can click on this dummy image for navigation. It will take you to this form for image upload. Currently inside this fresh system I don't have any image so I will copy that from my system here. So I will copy this image and I will paste that inside this system desktop here and back to the application. Browse for the image. It is inside the desktop. Let me select this. Click on open. So here we have the selected image preview. Now we have to give a caption for this selected image. It will be rabbit. Corresponding image category will be animal. Now click on submit. Since form is reset to its initial state, it should be uploaded. Let's check that inside the gallery here. Go to gallery. So here you can see the newly uploaded image for rabbit. So that's it guys. In this video we have successfully deployed an Angular application with Firebase to IIS. Hope you found this video helpful. In order to make more helpful and quality tutorials like this, you can support me through PayPal donation. I have given the donation link in first comment and video description. Please like and share this video with your friends and colleagues so that they can benefit from this. Have a nice day. Bye.